Hi everybody, today we are going to show how to work with WordPress categories. It's pretty common question and this is a standard question for new users and even for experienced WordPress users. And we will also cover uh, how to work with categories and output them into the menu and to the sidebar widgets. Basically, you'll find out how to output content of those uh, categories uh, on your website. All right, let's get it started. First of all, we should go to the WordPress dashboard. There we can find a section called Post. The section Post shows all the posts. We need the categories section inside the post menu. Basically, this is where we can see uh, our categories. With this template and its sample data, we have uh, several predefined uh, categories. Uh, one of them is uncategorized category. It means that posts were not assigned to any categories. All the posts that were not assigned to uh, any kind of category will go to the uncategorized post. Um, we can also see the category name and the slug. The slug is used in the WordPress URL in the website URL and basically defines the uh, URL structure. Uh, for now, we just need to know that we should specify the slug basically the same as the category name. Pretty much in most cases. Um, Alright, let's add one more category. Let's add a new category. Uh, we should define the name of this category. Let's call it advertising and the same will be our slug. It's gonna be basically you can find uh, what I find out what exactly you should input there. You can also define the parent category, but we are not going to do that right now. You can also specify your uh, the description of this category. It's just for your information. Click on add new category. Yep, we have added the new category. We can see it appears right there. Um, pay attention that you can also see the count section. It shows how much posts are assigned to this category. Uh, you may not see all those uh, columns uh, for some reason. Just go to the screen options and make sure that all of them are selected in such case. Um, all right, let's go and add a subcategory. The subcategory is uh, basically can be added to any parent category. Let's add the branding PR category into subcategory into the category called business. There we are going to define the category name, define the slug, gonna use lower case and dash. There we should also define a parent category. Let's define a business category and edit. Here we go. We can see that it was added as subcategory to the business. Pay attention that subcategories are displayed with this dash. You can also see your flag and you can also see the count zero, which means that no articles, no posts were added to it. All right, let's move on. Let's go to our posts section. The all post section defines all the posts. 
Um, right now we are going to uh, add specific posts to the categories we have uh, added. We have added. You may not see such columns for some reason. If you, if you don't see such columns for some reason, you can simply go to the screen options and enable the desired uh, columns and click on apply. Um, in my case, everything shows up properly and I don't have to do anything. Let's go. We are going to open this post called The Secret of Your Business Success find quickly and assign it to the category advertise. Um, first of all, you should make sure that the post tab is activated. There you can see that this post was not assigned to any category. Basically, you can check the category section right near the each post that shows where uh, to what category the post is assigned. All right, let's assign this category, this post, this uncategorized post to the newly added category. I have selected the advertising. Pay attention that the post tab should be selected and click on update. All right, it was updated. Make sure to click on this cog in case you don't see such options. All right, let's get back to our post section. We can see that this post was assigned to the desired category. All right, let's add the post to the newly added subcategory. We are going to add it to the branding PR subcategory we have added and to the consulting category. Pay attention that you can assign a particular post, uh, even every post, better to say every post to each to several categories. It doesn't matter to which category you assign. You can assign it to as much, as many categories as you like. I have assigned to the branded PR and to the consulting category. All right. Let's get back to the post section. Here we can see that the post was assigned to the appropriate category. All right. Right now we'll need to out I'm going to show you how to output those categories into the menus. For example, you have certain category and you need to add the this category to the menu item. When the visitor visits your website and click on the menu items, uh, he or she will see the entire contents of this category. Basically, all the posts from that category will be available when you click on the menu item. All right, let's go to the appearance menu section. Select the desired menu. In our case, the main menu will be used. I'm referring to this menu. All right, you should see the categories section right there. If you don't see it for some reason, make sure that you have selected it in the screen option. By default, the most used tab shows most used categories. If you don't see your category, you can simply click on view all and there you will see the full list of categories and subcategories. Basically, that's what I'm suggest suggesting you to perform. Yeah. All right. 
we are going to assign like advertise advertising menu advertising category to the menu item i have selected this check this checkbox and click on and menu here we go you can click on the menu and move it to the desired location and i am going to put it before the contact menu all right i also need to add a um, branding pr sub category here we go and i will add it as a sub menu item of the advertising menu item um, pay attention that you can show that you can change the uh, menu item name it is not related to the category name itself basically you can assign any title to the menu i have selected the branding menu item all right i'm gonna click on save menu in order to make sure that all the changes were applied just make sure to save the menu every time you perform any kind of changes to the menu structure all right i'm gonna refresh the page and check the result here we go our menu item was added i'm going to click on it and i'll see post assigned to this category i'm click on the sub menu item called branding and i'll see the post in from this category uh, let's add one more pause to the advertising category it should show up right there because right now we have just one pause um, in the advertised company in, in the advertised menu item all right let's go to the all post section select this post and add it to the pay attention that in this post the block is activated by default you should click on post section and access the category i'm gonna add this post to the advertising category as well click on update i'm gonna refresh the page and here we go the second post was added all right let's add the category widget the widget should display on the sidebar and basically this widget shows the uh, categories used in the wordpress uh, i'm going to go to the appearance uh, widget sections to the appearance widget section there you can see the sidebar widget area the widget code categories is responsible for displaying the categories of your post i'm gonna call it categories and save it let's refresh the page and here we go we can see the widget with all our categories it means that in all pages with the sidebar your visitor your website user will see this uh, widget um, when you click on this category appropriate category will show up basically all the posts assigned to this category uh, will show up there we can see our advertising uh, category all right so we can also specify several options like show post count and show here and we will see that the widgets will show how many posts 
were added to this category, how many posts are available in this category, and how many and you will also see the hierarchy of um, the categories. You can see the parent category and subcategory. All right. In this tutorial, we have covered most of the questions related to the WordPress uh, categories. It's not that hard to add the category to assign posts to him because WordPress makes this process uh, very easy. You can output your category to the menu, you can assign appropriate posts to different categories, you can assign a post to several categories and uh, organize your website content in the way you like. Uh, the WordPress is pretty much flexible in doing those things and will allow you to perform um, different kind of uh, content uh, management using the categories. It will allow you to categorize the content and simplify, simplify a lot of things uh, with your website. All right, thanks everybody. Feel free to post your questions in the comments like our video and get back to us uh, via comments in case you have additional questions um, regarding this tutorial. Thank you. Bye.